Examine a fixed pitch propeller. The type of propeller fitted to the majority of small single engine light aircraft. As its name suggests, the blade angle cannot be changed. There are two types of fixed pitch propeller, the first of which is the cruise propeller. A cruise propeller has a large blade angle to give maximum efficiency at the cruising speed of the aircraft. A large blade angle is called coarse pitch. The other type of fixed pitch propeller is called a climb propeller. This type of propeller is not very common. To give maximum efficiency at low speed, a climb propeller has a smaller blade angle than a cruise propeller. As an example, an aircraft used exclusively for glider towing would be fitted with a climb propeller. A small blade angle is called fine pitch. So that we can see some of the factors that affect the efficiency of a fixed pitch propeller, we have replaced the plane of rotation with a vector of propeller RPM. A propeller fitted to the piston engine of most light aircraft will rotate at the same speed as the engine. We've now added a speed vector that represents the true airspeed of the aircraft. The product of the propeller RPM and the aircraft true airspeed is the relative airflow. As with any aerofoil, the angle between the cord line of the blade and the relative airflow is the angle of attack. In this case, the blade angle of attack. We will now vary the engine RPM to see how the blade angle of attack is affected. 2300 is a typical cruise RPM. As the engine RPM is increased, the angle of attack of the blade increases. For simplicity, we have maintained the same true airspeed, although in practice it will begin to increase. Decreasing the RPM decreases the blade angle of attack. Let's now consider the effect of aircraft true airspeed on the angle of attack of a fixed pitch propeller. At low forward speed, the angle of attack is very big. The illustration shows a typical light aircraft just after brake release on the takeoff run. One of the disadvantages of a fixed pitch propeller is its lack of efficiency at low forward speed due to the large blade angle of attack. You could think of it as the propeller trying to accelerate too much air rearwards for the power output of the engine. We'll now see what happens as speed is increased to the cruise speed. Watch. The angle of attack decreases as the true airspeed increases. Now the angle of attack is optimum for maximum efficiency in the cruise. You could think of it as the propeller being able to accelerate just the right amount of air rearwards for the engine power output. If we look again at the fixed pitch climb propeller, you can see that it has maximum efficiency and low flight speed. We'll now take a look at the forces of thrust and torque and how they act on the aircraft. Here, we can see a propeller blade with its angle of attack and the plane of rotation. Thrust acts forwards at right angles to the plane of rotation and torque acts parallel to and in the opposite direction to propeller rotation. Torque is the equal and opposite reaction to the propeller being rotated by the engine. We will see later that torque will generate a yawing moment about the aircraft CG. Next, we'll take a look at propeller efficiency. The illustration shows a plot of the efficiency of a fixed pitch propeller, with aircraft true airspeed increasing to the right. It's a standard cruise propeller, the type fitted to the majority of small single-engine light aircraft. You can see that peak efficiency occurs at the cruise speed of the aircraft. It makes most sense to use a fixed-pitch cruise propeller, 
as most aircraft spend most of their flight time in the cruise. Unfortunately, a fixed pitch cruise propeller is not very efficient at takeoff speed or climb speed. So use of a fixed pitch cruise propeller is a compromise. In comparison, a fixed pitch climb propeller gives maximum efficiency at low speed, but unfortunately is totally unsuitable for flight at a sensible cruising speed. For optimum efficiency across the required speed range, a propeller whose blade angle can be varied in flight is required. Fine pitch for takeoff and climb, and coarse pitch for cruising. This type of propeller is called a variable pitch propeller. The plot shows a variable pitch propeller at low speed with the blades on the fine pitch stop. This will give maximum efficiency during the initial takeoff run. And as speed increases, the efficiency increases. The increase in efficiency with increasing speed is due to the blade angle progressively increasing to maintain the optimum angle of attack. Therefore, a variable pitch propeller will give optimum efficiency and performance throughout the aircraft's operating speed range. The mechanism that changes the blade angle in flight was fully explained during your study of piston engines and will not be repeated here.